Hey guys, what is going on? Big Dog here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your magenta glazed terracotta blocks into conveyor belts to transport items, players, and basically any entity in the game. You'll only need one simple command that I will put down in the description, and it will create this command block structure, which you can turn on and off. So anyway, let's get into the video. Before we begin, I just want to say that I tried making these commands myself. I could only get them to work with players, so I ended up going on the internet and finding out that this guy called the Red Engineer had already done them as soon as the first snapshot came out. So all credits to him on those commands and I'll link his YouTube channel down in the description for you guys to go and check him out. Right then, so first of all, what you're going to need is, well, you have to get yourself a command block. So give your player name and then a command block just like that. Place it down in your world. Copy the command I've put down in the description and paste it into your command block. You can set this to always active and then press done. So as you can see, the structure has appeared and now the items are moving around. Uh, oh, the items have disappeared. But anyway, as you can see, it works. The items move around. The wolf is going around as well. And this will work with any entity in the game, basically. And so I've got these signs on the front. So this bottom one that says destroy machine does what it says. So if you right click on this sign, it will destroy the whole machine. Now the second one that is on top, activate and deactivate. It also does what it says. You right click it, it activates the conveyor belts, right click it again and it deactivates them. So there you go. It's pretty simple. So as I say, this can work with basically any entity in the game and it could have some useful um, uses basically. Um, you can transport items like you would with hoppers and then put them into hoppers and um, big storage systems. So there you go. Now as I said, this also works with players. There. And yeah. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, goodbye.